Hi folks, this is Jason and I uh, hope you are okay today and we're looking at Turn to Christ and um, let's come before the Lord and ask his blessing upon this message Thank you for this day and we thank you for your love and your grace and we give you the praise and the glory and Father we pray as we look at your word now that you will bless and Pray that we might come to know you as our Lord and Saviour. Amen. Looking at 1 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 9, it says, They tell how you turn to God from idols to serve the living God. Now, to become a Christian is to turn away from whatever, we're, whatever way we are living and to move into living for God. The Apostle Paul, um, if you turn to Acts chapter 9 verse 1, Acts chapter 9 verse 1, said, and Saul set breathing out threatenings and slaughter against the disciples of the Lord went out the high priest and desired of him letters of Damascus to the synagogue that if he found any of this way whether they were men or women he might bring them bound into Jerusalem and as he journeyed he came near Damascus and suddenly there shined round about him a light from heaven and he fell to the ground and heard a voice saying unto him Saul Saul why persecute thou me and he said who art thou Lord and the Lord said I am Jesus whom thou persecutest it is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. And he, trembling and astonished, said, Lord, what wilt thou have me to do? And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the city, and it shall be told thee what thou must do. And the men which journeyed with him stood speechless, hearing a voice, but seeing he all arose from the earth. And when his eyes were opened, he saw no man, but they led him by the hand and brought him into Damascus. And he was there three days without sight, and neither did he eat nor drink. And there was a certain disciple at Damascus named Ananias unto him, and the Lord in a vision, Ananias, he said, Behold, I am here, Lord. The Lord said unto him, Arise, go into the street, which is called Straight, and inquire in the house of Judas, the one called Saul of Tarsus, for behold, he prayeth. And the scene in a vision, a man named Ananias, coming in and putting his hand on him, that he might receive his sight. Then Ananias answered, Lord, I have heard by many of this man how much evil he had done to thy saints at Jerusalem. And here he had authority from the chief priest to bind all that call on thy name. But the Lord said unto him, Go thy way, for he is a chosen vessel unto me to bear my name before the Gentiles and kings. And the so Paul was a, a, a guy who was going around executing Christians, torturing them and all sorts. And... Christ appeared to him and and Saul gave his heart to Jesus and he and he stopped killing Christians, he stopped torturing them and he became a preacher of the gospel. He became a proclaimer of the word of God. And that's what God wants us to know is that we can turn from our sin. The question is why should we repent? Some might say, well, Christianity is a psychological crutch for weaklings. I'm reminded of a missionary called Gladys Awood. She was a, a young woman at the time, and she was very, very small, and she applied to go to, to be a missionary to many missionary societies, but they rejected her and would not have her. But anyhow, she on her own, and there, when the Chinese... Uh, when the Japanese were attacking China, she was able to take some orphan children uh, to safety on a great long journey and a film was made about her. She was no weakling. Uh, to be a Christian means you will struggle, you will suffer, you will be persecuted and that's not for the weak minded. You might say, well I, I'm, I'm not that bad, why should I repent? Well, in Romans chapter 2, verse 1, it says, You therefore have no excuse, you who pass judgment on someone else. For at whatever point you judge the other, you are 
condemning yourself because none who pass judgment do the same things. The Bible teaches that we're all sinners, we're all failure, and we all make mistakes, and we all need to repent. With gnashing of teeth, there'll be judgment, and so we need to repent. Then it, we ask the question, when should we repent? Some might say, I want to enjoy my life. I want to enjoy it. Well, it says, today is the day of salvation. Today is the day that we need to repent. How do we repent? In, in, what's the mechanism for us to repent? Well, repentance means turn around. It means forsaking. Forsaking our sin and going God's way we turn to Mark chapter 1 verse 4 and 5 John did baptize in the wilderness and preached the baptism of repentance for remission of sins and there went out unto him all the land of Judea of Jerusalem and were all baptized of him in the river of Jordan confessing their sins so they confess the sins to repent is to confess to acknowledge our sin to acknowledge our failure then Romans 6 23 Romans 6 23 For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. We've got to understand that sin, there's a wage for sin and it brings death. But if we turn to Christ, it will be forgiven and it brings peace. And so we're to trust in Christ and what he did on the cross. When Jesus Christ died on the, on the cross, he was punished for your sin. He took your judgment for you. Go to Romans 6, 4. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism in death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. When we put our faith in Christ, all our sin was punished on him. When he died and when he rose again, if we believe in him, we rise with him spiritually. The Holy Spirit comes to dwell in our hearts and gives us a new heart. You turn to Acts chapter 2, 38. Acts 2, 38. Then Peter said unto him, Repent and be baptized every for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. If we confess our sin and acknowledge that we're sinners and understand that Christ died on the cross for our sin and believe in him, the Holy Spirit comes to dwell in us and we become born again. So will you turn to Christ today? Will you acknowledge your sin today? Acknowledge your need of him, the Lord Jesus Christ. He came and he gave himself for you. And he wants you to have new life in him. So please trust in him and you'll find peace and rest for your soul. Thank you for listening and God bless you.